Good morning, we have Alexa here today. Alexa is going, uh, going to undergo a rhinoplasty and has been nice enough to let us uh, do some filming so she can share it with you. Um, tell us a little bit why you wanted to have this done. Um, you know, I've always, for the last number of years, for a while, I've been like self-conscious about my, my nose, and um, especially from the side view, but also from the front. Okay. And how do you feel about knowing that you're sort of empowered in order to be able to fix it? How does that make you feel? Really good, yeah. No, it's uh, I probably sh should have taken action sooner, but you know, never too late. So. Okay, good. So um, today what we're going to do is, is just take the bump down a little bit and uh, keep the tip more or less where it is, but just uh, not so much raise it up, but keep it where it is because uh, it, it will tends to fall down a little bit after I take the bridge down. And then uh, uh, define the tip a little bit more, but not too much. And, you know, you have beautiful eyes, gorgeous lips, great hair and skin. I mean, it's just, as you mentioned, just sort of decreasing what, what is, is sort of prominent and, right. uh, uh, and, and makes you, more importantly, makes you very self-conscious. I uh, just wanted to remind you um, that, and I told you this at your original consultation, mm -hmm. uh, and I uh, told you at your prep, and I'm going to mm -hmm. tell you again, uh, after the surgery, you'll have some tape on your nose and uh, a cast that will make your tip look pinched and really rotated. Okay. I didn't do that to your nose. Okay. I promise you, okay? That's just the tape and the cast, and then when everything comes off, it, it, go, it becomes what you want okay. it to be. Okay. Don't be alarmed. It's one thing patients are real nervous about after okay. surgery. Okay? Okay. Terrific. Right. Let's take some pictures, and then we'll walk you right back. Okay, great. So, I'm going to